feel like I should close my window. Like my light is on and I feel like people can actually see me recording, which is kind of creepy. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi welcome my name is Farah. sorry if i have been filming for the past three weeks just everything's been going crazy with school and it's my last semester of college i graduate in like a few weeks and and there's somebody else on my window um and yeah just a lot of stuff to keep up with internship volunteer hours to complete anyway so i finally found some time to film this haul video for you guys which i'm really excited to film because it's an affordable haul i went to five affordable stores i went to the thrift store the i went to um uh, forever 21 i went to ross i went to dd's discount and i also went to rainbow so yes if you're familiar with these stores you do know that they are very affordable so yes i'm so excited to show you guys what i purchased and yeah let's get started all right so i kind of fixed the camera so you guys can see my my bun i think it's so cute all right, so I'm gonna try to do this in some type of order. So I'm gonna start off with the jackets. The first jacket that I have is a bummer jacket. It's a blush slash light pink bummer jacket. And um, it was $14.99 at Ross. And just thought this was really classy, really cute against my skin tone. It just has two pockets in the front and also a small pocket on one side. Um, so yeah, just thought this was really classy, really cute. Definitely a bit lightweight, which is fine because it's, it doesn't get really cold. It doesn't get too cold in Florida, so I can basically wear this now. Second jacket that I have um, is another lightweight jacket. It's just a simple, it's just a plain jacket. I just really love the color. Olive green is just, oh my goodness. I think it's like my favorite color right now. Um, so yes, one thing I really like about it is the fact that it's really, really long. you sure, you can definitely wear it as a dress with some thigh-high boots. Maybe I can do that, but I don't know, honestly, because it's really, really, it's long, but it's short as a dress, if I wear it as a dress. This was $7 at Rainbow. Okay, when I saw this jacket, what attracted me was the price. As soon as I wore, like got closer to the jacket, the price, it was like $4.49. So I'm just like, um, you know, even though it's in the plus size section, let me just try it on. When I try it on, it was really not that big on me. If anything, it'd just be like an oversized jacket, which is fine. But these patches, I mean, they're cool or whatever. I don't even know what they stand for. It's like some Greek words, some pre weird logo. Let me not say that in case somebody's watching this is actually part of this association and come for me. I'm gonna try to remove it. Hopefully I can. I think I should be able to remove it. If not, then whatever. I, I just rock it. I don't care, honestly. And one thing I really like about it is the fact that it zips all the way up compared to the other jackets. So it gives me like a turtleneck vibe and I really like turtlenecks, even though that's not turtleneck, but I love turtlenecks, shirts, jackets, whatever. This was a really great deal in my opinion, except for these weird patches thingy you got going on right there. Third jacket that I have is this tan light brown jacket with um, the sleeves that are full leather material. Yeah, this was $9.99, $10, so very cute, very, um, more classy and you know if you're going out on a date or like dinner or whatever can just style this up with some boots leather boots and yes all right so the last jacket that i have is another olive green jacket but this one is like a bummer jacket definitely more on the thick side which is good when it starts to really get cold you know i can get away with wearing this um as you can see the inside is like very bright orange which i thought was really cute also it has two pockets in the front and another pocket on the one arm so it was $17.99 at ross i can't wait to wear this for the winter when it starts to get cold <laughs> all right so next moving on to dresses the first dress i have is this again um blush slash you know light pink it's not like pink blush whatever color this is okay <laughs> that i purchased at ross and this was $8.99 just thought this was very cute very casual um just a tad bit short on me but you know i can get away with it because it's not like tight fitted and the second dress that i have is from forever 21 this dress looks so freaking good on me like i'm not going to lie this dress looks good on me okay like you know my boobs look kind of good like you know it makes my butt look kind of like <laughs> in all the right places again really really nice against my skin tone i don't own anything this color so i'm like yo i've been missing out and this was 9.99 
the next dress that I have and it's not really a dress honestly it's a jumper that I purchased from Ross and it was $6.99 and one thing I really like about this is the fact that the straps they are adjustable since I am tall I can adjust them to my liking which is a plus it's just giving me 90s vibes so I just had to get it I just have no idea what I'm gonna style it with but it's already in my closet so you know the last dress that I have here is this all black velvet dress and I feel like every girl needs to have a little black dress and I think I finally found mine I bought this for $9.99 at Dee Dee's it's a size small kind of short but that's okay just very classy you know if you just New Year's is coming you know potential New Year's parties or whatever I feel like this will be my little black dress you know so I just had to get it but one thing honestly of course, you know, since it's velvet, it picks up so much length, which is so annoying. It was $9.99, so I'm not complaining. But I just complained, though. Anyways. Next, moving on to shirts. And the first shirt that I have here is this burnt orange slash auburn shirt that I purchased from Dee Dee's, and it was $5.99. It's more of a sweater material, honestly. Since I'm tall, it's a bit crop top. Actually, not crop top, but like mid-rise and again the color is just so nice against my skin tone i feel like this will just go with any skin tone honestly but it just looks nice on mine i'm just saying the next shirt that i have is from the thrift store actually it's not a shirt it's more of a vest and yo you guys this how freaking cute is this i bought this like a while back but i still haven't worn it it's just giving me african straight out of africa never mind it was made in india dead wow obviously this was handmade like someone really took their time and made this so when i saw it at the thrift store it was like a dollar like you know it was just all the way in the back like nobody was paying attention to this like this is art yo like this is i just thought this was really dope really cute this is the back of it it just had like a little tying thing right here to make it make maybe tighter next item that i have is this long um throw over sweater it has two pockets on the side it's really really long which is what i love about it it's a, it's in a size medium and this was 4.99 at ross last shirt that i have is this plaited shirt very simple very casual plaited shirt what caught my attention when i was you know looking at it was the full leather padding that's on the elbow area both elbows and i just thought that was kind of cute and Cool, whatever I think everything is cool and this was six dollars and 49 cents at Ross it's a size medium but honestly it's kind, of, it's kind of like big on me so it can be like an oversized boyfriend shirt that I bought for myself since you know I'm single all right so lastly moving on to shoes the first pair of shoes that I have here are these Steve Madden these were like the most expensive out of everything that I purchased they were $29.99 which might not be expensive for some of y'all watching this but to me I was like damn just thought the pattern on top of it was really cute like the crisscross zigzag crisscross not zigzag the second pair of shoes that i have are these gray um booties if you know me you do know that i love me some booties um i bought these at dd discount for six dollars and 99 cents for the price of it i just you would think that it, it'll just be something you know very you know cheap material and stuff but i was really shocked that the inside it has like you know comfort padding inside of it so yeah all right, so the last pair of booties and also the last item for this fall are these light brown slash tan booties. Um, they're definitely shorter than the other ones. They're kind of giving me cowgirl vibe, which is, you know, cool, whatever, I don't care. Um, they're a size 8 and I bought these at Dee Dee's for $11.99. Just thought these were really cute and casual and yeah, I actually wore these already and I got two compliments, so you know your girl was lit. But yeah, that was pretty much it for my affordable haul. As you can see, everything was actually affordable, I hope. In my opinion, at least they were, except for like maybe two items. You can look good on a budget. Like, there is such thing. I've been doing it all my life. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Feel free to leave any comments down below. You know what? Anyway, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all next time in another video. Hey, no, 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 no.